Good afternoon, Parkway family and friends. I am Russell Hall. I'm one of the pastors here at Parkway. Um, and I just wanted to um, invite y'all into a, a few moments of kind of pause. Um, you know, we talk about all the time um, taking care of ourselves and pausing and being able to um, in, in, enjoy the place that we are in. Um, I guess before I go any further, let me ask you if you're joining me, whether you're joining me now live, if y'all would just check in and say hi, say something in the comments and let us know that you're here. Now, if you watch this later today, um, please be sure and let us know that you are engaging with us. Um, I'm once again here in the garden. In fact, I'm going to turn this around to where you don't see me um, and you see the actual garden here at the church. Um, and I just wanted to have a conversation with y'all for a few moments. Um, you know, we think about Sabbath time and we think about the ways that we are um, called to practice rest and self-care and those types of things. And um, frequently when I'm having conversations with folks about these things, and I've had some of the same conversations with my spiritual directors and pastors over the years, um, we think about you know the the difficulty of carving out an entire day or carving out an entire weekend or carving out an entire week we struggle with the um just the 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 difficulty of schedules and whatnot and you know one of the things that i think we can practice in order to help us um grow in this understanding of um, I don't like the word balance but we'll use balance since I don't have a better word um, is to take little small moments to take little mini Sabbaths throughout the day um, so today I am taking a walk after an early lunch before afternoon meetings here in the garden um, it is an area where we have uh, worship together it is an area where we have explored prayer and meditation together. It is an area that has shaped the church in so many ways. Um, it is in this space that we've had our Easter egg um, stories, our Easter stories after the egg hunts. And um, it is in this place where we can walk around and we can view the scriptures that say, remind us of who Jesus is and how Jesus was. And so we're looking at one of the guideposts here next to a boss that says, feed my lambs and feed my sheep. It is from John 21, 17, um, where Jesus is having a conversation with Simon Peter. Um, we have these beautiful opportunities to just slow down for a moment, to take a few steps and to enjoy what is going on around us. You can hear the insects in the trees. You can hear the birds. Um, the breeze is absolutely wonderful today. Um, in different places in the garden, um, you have other signs that draw you to a place of reflection and prayer. Um, and so here we have a reminder that the risen Lord gives some power to forgive. And, and this is out of the Gospel of John again in chapter 20 where he says he breathed on them and invited them to receive the Holy Spirit. We have these opportunities to enjoy the flowers and enjoy the birds of paradise and even the dragonflies and the things that are going around. Um, you know, it's merely a three-minute walk from the inside of um, the church to come and experience some of the peace and some of the goodness that um, is available just in the creative order. Um, there are waterfalls that you can get near and I don't know how it works for you but uh, I, I thought that you know this movement of water, the sound of moving water is something that um, I know for some people it makes them want to go to the restroom, but for other people it is absolutely soothing. Um, I, I love creeks and streams and waterfalls. Um, these are just some of the ways that you can kind of decompress and get reoriented in your day. 
this little Sabbath moment of taking the time to go on a walk, to spend some time um, in God's created order, to actually be present in ways that um, allow you to be renewed and fed are so important for how we live out our Christian faith. Um, now, not everybody may be able to come to the little area that we have here at the church in our garden. Um, I do invite you, if you're local, that you get to come out and experience this for yourself. Um, it is um, really an amazing thing as you walk through Christ's journey. Um, we can see the crosses, and on the other side, I'll walk around here, we can actually see the uh, empty tomb. Um, this is a, a, a real gift just to pray and meditate, to check in and remember our breathing. Um, all of these things that Jody and Tim and Mac and I have spoke of over the months, especially during this season of the pandemic. Um, there's so many um, easy ways that we can take care of ourselves in this and retreat back into the Lord. And so if you're struggling with um, full Sabbaths, if you're struggling with opportunities to care for and nurture yourself, then I would invite you to find a park, find a walking trail, and take a moment just to create space in your backyard to be able to um, re-engage in the created order, um, to be able to um, reconnect with the world around you that is far more than just the concrete um, and the buildings that we reside in day in and day out. Um, allow the, I guess, just the presence of God to be with you as you experience the beauty um, of the life and colorful flowers. Um, allow God just to refresh you and to show you the signs of hope that are in the midst of every season that we are a part of. Um, I pray that you will have a blessed rest of the week. Um, in fact, why don't we pray together before we close out? Let us pray. Holy and gracious God, we give you thanks for the beauty of your creation for the majesty of the works of your hands. God, help us to draw us into quiet and still places. Help us to restore our soul. God, lead us beside still waters that we may drink of the water of life. God, that we might be nurtured and renewed and refreshed for the work that you've called us to that is ahead of us. God, be with us in all that we do, for we ask it in the holy and precious name of our Lord and Savior, in the name of Christ. Amen. All right, friends. Um, yeah, Decker, I know we're trying to get me to do liturgical dance. Um, I'm not sure I'm totally game for that, but I will think through that and see if I can't um, come up with something in the weeks to come. Um, y'all have a great afternoon, and we will see y'all later this week, whether it's online or in person. Have a great and blessed week. Bye now.